Joining me now is the woman who I know, who I thought, oh, please don't wreck this movie. <laughs> Uh, it's Abby Johnson. She is the CEO and founder of And Then There Were None, and she was the author of Unplanned, which is now a movie, the true life story of her life. And uh, Ashley Bratcher, uh, she is the one who could have ruined this movie and didn't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, she plays Abby in the movie, so we're thrilled to have both of you guys here. First of all, Abby, you're, I think, about to change the world. Oh, well, that's kind. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I, I've, people have said, oh my gosh, well, you know, what has this been like? And I don't know. It's, it's very, um, it feels very vulnerable to have this out you know it's one thing to write your story it's something else to see it see it and and have it visually out there for everybody and but you're 25 feet tall yes yeah yeah um but it's you know i i tell people all the time i didn't i didn't sign up to do this film so that you know abby johnson would be a household name i really did it so that people would see that God's redemption and his mercy is something that should be talked about in every home and, and to make it in a way that it's not cheesy. And it's <laughs> you not. You had the same fear. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I, when I first got the email and I, and uh, I found out who these guys were and they said, you know, Oh, we, you know, and I found out they were the directors of God's not dead. I thought, well, <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. No. So I'm being real honest. That's exactly what I thought. Okay. Well. Oh. Yeah. Well. I was okay. like, well, I don't know. Like, I my story is not like a mm -hmm. God's not dead sort of story. Mm -hmm. You In know. In fact, I think it's the opposite. I think. Yeah. What What makes this story so powerful is for people who don't know who you are. You had an abortion. Two. You had two abortions. You then ran. You joined working at a Planned Parenthood as a, uh, a volunteer, then you ran the clinic for Par Planned Parenthood. You became their employee of the year nationally. Yeah. Um, and then when we'll get into this in a little while, then you had something happen to you in the clinic that changed your course forever. So you are not one to point the finger. You're not, your whole, the reason why I think you'll change the world is because you, the movie starts with the people who are hanging, you know, holding the posters up that are, you know, showing the dead babies and they're calling them baby killers. You're not going to appeal to anybody with that. You're just not. No. And you start with that and it shows you pointing that out and the good guys that you're now, you know, with, they're saying we're not with them either. Right. Your whole message is one of, love the mothers. Yeah. I can't point fingers. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what I tell people all the time. I, I've had two abortions. I have overseen over 22,000 abortions. I'm not one that can condemn or point the finger at anybody. I mean, I've, I've done it. Um, but I, I, I sometimes wonder, you know, if, if I had gone in that day, that first day that I went in to volunteer and, those aggressive people were not on the sidewalk. Let's say they weren't there and it was just people peacefully praying on the sidewalk. I wonder if I would have come back or not. I think maybe I wouldn't have because I remember thinking if that's the Christian pro-life movement, somebody dressed up like the Grim Reaper, yelling baby killer, calling them murderers, telling them that they're going to go to hell. I don't want to have anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. That's not who I am. And so this film, though, really shows... And it, hang on. It allows you to frame it in your head that you're being compassionate because you yes. know these women are going through hell. Yes. And to have those guys outside, you're actually being compassionate by walking them into Planned Parenthood. Well, that's what I tell people. When you're out there screaming at someone or pointing the finger... 
then you are creating a safe space inside that abortion facility. And you never want the abortion facility to be seen as a safe haven. That Those are the people that are going to take your child's life. They're not your savior. But when you're out there acting like maniacs, that's the perception. That's what happens to the one. And I mean, in no, on no planet anywhere would I, as a woman who has had a crisis pregnancy, be like, that guy in the Grim Reaper suit, he seems really approachable <laughs> to me. <laughs> some good points over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. That guy telling me I'm going to hell. Right. I, I want to talk to him. <laughs> and that, like, and that sickle is kind of hot, really. <laughs> that and the robes. Yeah. 